I'm getting ready for a market. I have this weekend, I have next weekend, and then that following Friday is the first night of the market. It's fine. As far as inventory, I have 29 of these, 15 of these, and four of these in various sizes. And shout out to the big ball of twine in Kansas, which is where I live, and it's not that bad. So, according to my calculations, I have 29 bags that make now. I can make total 46 going on that trajectory. I also have data on like how many products that I've brought to other events and wow, I'm behind. But if I continue like this, I could have 65 products total, which would be good because this is the most expensive market that I have done. To guide me through this market prep, I use something that I call my day off plan. It's very helpful for markets because I mean, this is a small business, so it's like, call the shots. <laughs> I gotta just make it happen. People tell me a lot like, oh, you're so organized. And no, this isn't really a humble brag. I need people to know that I have to do these things where I don't know what is going on. I have gone through my day of plan and it is not completely filled out. Okay. According to this, which I can show you, be happy to show you. We're just looking at this right now. No. I'll let you know. You have to be on the best behavior. According to the plan, I need to figure out if people can help me with setup because it's during the work day. I took that day off. I guess I could maybe load things myself, but we'll see if anyone from my family, my husband can help. Okay. No. No. Come here. I need to figure that out. I also want to figure out my marketing plan. I've shared twice for this market, but I need to figure that out. I need to try my layout again because it's been a while since I've done the same layout. Okay. Yes, he just whipped me in the face with his tail. I really need to look for all of my supplies. And then I really want to think through the timeline of the day what I'm going to do when that day of the market or if they have you set up the night before. It just seems to go really fast and I always think I'm going to get more done than I actually do and then I need to make more stuff. But for right now, I think I will show you my wagon and let's start gathering the stuff. Well, the new basement. This is where I currently keep this massive cart. I need to find a more permanent space for this. We do have a bedroom right behind me. Maybe we go in there. I don't know. I will figure out what is in here, what is not in here. Gotta start somewhere, right? First up, we have a six foot table. I really like it because it folds in half. It is from Walmart. Whoa. My Dusty wants to fill up. Yeah. But this table does work as a good lid because my cats get into everything. Dusty, so now I need to get in here. Let's go over here. Mm. Like I said, Cats get into everything. Okay, I'm having patience for this right now. I got it all cleaned out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Airtable. Airtable is like a souped up spreadsheet. So what I have done is I have different items 
the name of the item, the category. And then I have another column for the status, the location, like, so the status is, like, is it packed? Do I not need it? Do I need it the day of? The location is literally like, where did I put this thing? Like, is it in the wagon? Is it in my little pink box within the wagon? Because if you're like me, you pack these up and you're like, I know I have it, I think I have it, but you can't remember where you put it. Well, boom, just go onto Airtable. And it's also an app on the phone. What I like to do is I like to see what I literally have around. So I will find something, I will put it in the place, and then on the Airtable, I will say packed or whatever the status is. So let's see what is in the wagon or what needs to go in the wagon. I have these sacks. I have these risers. You want it to get height when you are displaying your items. Got this little chalkboard. I will try to just link the things that I got from Amazon and whatnot. Did get this on Amazon. It is literally a coat rack. I really like it because you can disassemble this. Oh, see, you screw things in. I wanted to go for a little bit of different heights. So this is literally like I could put this in here, put that on top, then they would be the same size. I'll go ahead and bring this and then this. I think that I just say that like it's in the basement. I don't know if anyone needs this hack, but at one point apparently we used Tide and this is my makeshift trash can. Just put a grocery bag in there, I can hide it. Yeah. Paper towels. So I'm always trying to reuse containers, but it does get annoying. So I'm using some kind of this thing to keep promo items. So I have my business card. I got my business card holder. This is so sweet. This little block of wood is from my very first show and I was next to a woodworker and it was also his first show and he was selling so much. So at some points when I'd be like, oh, it's my first show, like it's okay if I haven't sold very much. Oh was selling so so much but it was very cool I bought like a, a big bowl from him that is gorgeous but he gave this to me at the end of the show so that like he like grabbed my business cards and like put it on top and it matches like I go for like this natural wood look craft fair people are like the best people got a name tag my husband actually bought this for me. We got it off of Zazzle. It's so flimsy. I designed these on Canva and then I got them printed via Vistaprint just because I wanted to make sure they would really do a good job and they did. It's like I have a chalk marker in here. I have extra price tags and then I got quite a few of these just plain black frame signs and then I just create my own stuff on Canva. This one says let's connect. I've never seen anyone use this but it's there. I have it at my little checkout stand and then also to just tell people like what they are looking at. I also designed my thank you cards off of Canva. These are S hooks. I have zip ties for the sign in the background, pins and highlighters. Someone said you should get a receipt book in case there are people who just need one. Pretty sure I got this from my grandpa and he wasn't using this, but I've never used it. I have a money marker, never used it. I have super glue, I have gum. Now I have a bag of just random things. It has two pairs of tiny scissors. I have safety pins. Exacto knife. Seam ripper. Clorox wipes. Kleenexes. 
my dad broke a pair of my scissors at one of my shows last year. He was trying to cut through two layers of a zip tie and they just like cracked in half. I'm trying to get my banner down so I'm like this because he already got one side down and he goes off to like look for um, wire cutters. Hanging out until my neighbor saved me. I can't remember how he did it. I have an idea of what I need for right now. I feel okay about that. Hope you learned some things from all of this. I just really like Airtable because you can kind of make it do what you need it to. I like that I can filter it. I can sort it by category. I can filter out like I don't need this or I already packed this. So I don't have to like keep looking through things and like sorting through it in my mind. I would recommend it. And again, it's free. So I feel like I haven't gotten a lot done, but I have gotten some done. I have gone through some of my day of plan. I started the process of packing. I feel like honestly that is one of the worst parts because it's so involved. Sometimes I have to be like, okay, five more things, like get five things knocked off, get 10 things knocked off, and I have plenty of time. It's just, I like to know I have what I need and that I know where I have it. I obviously have a lot of sewing to do, but now my husband and I are going on a date, but right now I need to take with me something that I can work on in the car, like while we're out. So I have this, I have my fabric ribbon here, and these, I so these go with these. So repurposing both the scraps from this, which is just a paper bag, I yank the handles off of to make my gift bags. And then so what I do is I just chop up fabric to see if it's long enough for these. And then I just literally go in and I I just fray the edges myself. So it's something that's really easy to do on the go, don't have to think about it, and I feel like it's therapeutic to just tear something up, but for a good reason. So I will take these with me today. I just need any scissors to chop up the ends, and then I'm going to take this baggie, and now I have a little storage kit. Let's see how much I can get done by the end of this day. 